is Chetali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defence Universe, reporting live from Dev Expo 2022. We are at hall number 7 and sitting at Siddhartha Logistics Stall. I'm privileged to have with me Wing Commander Gautam Banerjee, who is VP and Country Head, Defence and Aerospace with Siddhartha Logistics. Thank you so much, sir, for giving your time to us. And Currently, we are going to speak all about Def Expo and what Siddhartha Logistics have, have got this time at Def Expo. Welcome to the chat room, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Good morning and go ahead. I'm, I'm Commander Banerjee, as you rightly introduced me. Thank you so very much for uh, catching up with us at Ahmedabad Def Expo. This is the second time we meet after the Bangkok Def Expo, ma'am. Right. So, um, Vinkamana Banerjee, what I see a beautiful drone next to you yes, and is that the prime product that you are showcasing at DevX for this year? Ma'am, we are basically experts in drone and drone training. So right from uh, the basic concept over here is uh, with the Gato Logistics is that we don't produce drones but we are into drone training and drone solution. Right from conceptualization to operationalization, we handle everything for the customer. Could be, uh, the customer could be uh, from the armed forces or from the civil bedroom because drones are being exclusively used by the armed forces and the civil setup these days. So, if you can go ahead and tell me more about the drone which is next to you and how you are marketing the specific drone for the Indian Defence Forces here. Uh, well ma'am, uh, the drone is a basically a tactical drone, we call it the Smart Eye by us. And uh, this drone is being, being used at present with some of the armed forces and some of the police forces in the country. And uh, I, we are basically into drone solutions as I mentioned to you earlier. So we are experts, our USP is drone training plan. Since I have more than 23 years of experience in drone operations in the Indian armed forces, that is that, that includes the Indian Air Force, the United Nations as well. As one of our, uh, the Ministry of Home Affairs unit as well. Man. So uh, with my experience, the kind of training that I will be able to uh, provide to the customer will, will be, uh, add value to our drone operation plan. Right. Talking about Def Expo 2022, this show is really special. It's one of the biggest edition till now. Not only that, this time it is exclusively for Indian companies, the Indian industry. That's right. In fact, the foreign players who are here they need to have either a subsidiary or registered in India and then only they are participating. So how do you see this move? How this move is important and good for a company like Siddhartha Logistics? Ma'am, this in fact the move is very very welcoming and in fact it is very enticing as well because we are dealing mainly in defence offsets as well. So all these companies, all these foreign uh, vendors who are here employed with the Indian companies and the Indian armed forces uh, will go a long way ma'am. This move is a very welcoming move. Uh, since we will be dealing with the defense offsets, basically all these companies who are manufacturing in India or have their manufacturing hub in India, they all will be getting their uh, basic modules. Could be avionics, could be engine, could be airframe, could be anything. Man. It could be regarding the aircraft, it could be regarding the guns, it could be regarding uh, the smaller weapons. Anything that will be brought into the country is where we step in. Man. We have our free trade warehousing zone which is located in Sri City in Chennai. So over there we will uh, be able to assemble these. It's a duty free, custom free zone ma'am. For 120 days we can park the uh, all the spares, all the offsets over there without paying any customs or taxes. So it, it will help the foreign vendors in a very big way. Plus we have the area and the wherewithal to support any kind of an upgrade the system or the subsystem that may happen from time to time. Saving the exchequer of money, huge sum of money, uh, to, instead of sending it back to the OEM facility and bringing it back after mod modifications, we can do it at our FPWZ facility. Right. Now, uh, less number of foreign com companies participating in, in Def Expo also means less number of foreign delegations, less number of exports. So. Do you think do you think it's going to hamper the export market for you? Ma'am, I do not uh, not really. Why I will tell you is that the Indian market, whenever we we are not only doing it in India, we also go to the uh, Def Expos abroad. So whatever we have to pick up, we call the vendor to our country 
depending on the kind of weapon system we need. It could be aircraft, it could be guns, it could be smaller weapon system, it could be radars, it could be ships, it could be anything. So this really doesn't affect us much, but whatever we need, we can, we can actually zero into the vendor, foreign vendor, and get into the Indian uh, subcontinent. That's great. Another question which I would like to ask you when we talk about Indian industry, the indigenous product. About this drone, is it the, the, the only the assembling part that you have done or everything that is a part of this drone is indigenously made in India and the technology is all made in India? Thank you for asking me this question, man. I was waiting for this question. In fact, this is a totally indigenously made built drone in India, man. This is probably made in India. And, uh, and including the sensor, everything is made in India, man. Uh -huh. And we have a 10x zoom in this. So uh, the optical camera has a 10x optical zoom on this. So it's a very, very formidable drone and it is uh, hyper, uh, uh, ultra, in fact, ultra operational, man, in all the ways. And we can uh, actually stand it off against any of the foreign companies. Mm -hmm. So this drone is a very formidable one, which has been flying in the Indian skies for quite some time now. And we have been training the uh, Indian Armed Forces and the Indian Police Forces as well, the, the CRPF and so we have many customers like this who are operating these drones, drones. and uh, we are very proud to have it with us right. and we proudly fly it in the Indian skies as make an India. That shows on your face that you are really proud and you really like the question that yes, this is proudly make in, made in India. Made in India ma'am and I am proud to say that. that it's uh, doing better than many foreign roads. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Now, as you told me that you have, and in front of me is sitting a young drone pilot of yours. So, budding pilot, ma'am, he is uh, Mr. Subhankar Padhya. Yeah. He is uh, one of my drone team uh, guys, and he is a budding uh, drone pilot, and uh, he has a formidable background on drones as well. So, we would like to talk more from Mr. Shubhankar yes. about the drone flying. So, Mr. Shubhankar, tell me your experience about flying this Made in India drone that we have in front so, of you. So, ma'am, I have been flying drones for the past four years and I have flown a lot of varieties of drones. But I have to say, ma'am, but these drones, we are just competing with the foreigners and these is ex this is exceeding in many ways than the drones which are manufactured out of India because I have flown them, I have flown this it's a completely different ball game. This drone basically it has a really good endurance, it's very mobility flat and it's very easy to learn. So basically, if I have, even without my experience, if anyone else comes and flies this, you can just, like it's like just driving a car, you just put the side of it and it starts flying. It flies itself basically. It's the technology is so advanced that you just need to be there. The drone can fly itself. Like these are the technology I want to do. The way you're telling me it sounds more like it's just playing with a toy. The thing is that the technology has become so advanced right. that it has become very easy for a layman person to pick up the drone and use it for his basic his needs or his purposes. Now, when you say that uh, it is easier than many other drones and many other company drones that you have yeah. seen you have flying, what do you mean by that? I mean, here I'm, I would like to know, please elucidate, what exactly are the features that you feel that, yes, this specific drone is much, much easier than I have flown in the past? Yeah. So basically ma'am, whenever you are flying a drone, you have to have a lot of situational awareness and you need to always calculate how much flight time you are going to have, how much distances you are going to fly and you have to see that if the drone has enough battery to come back home. For example, just an example, if this drone detects low battery or low voltage, it will automatically come back to the landing spot. So these are kind of a few, uh, you can say ease of life features that this drone offers. How is that possible if it is already low on battery? I mean, it calculates right yeah, from beginning that can, what is the yeah, distance for back? It can calculate, uh, see, it can calculate that if it can come back to the landing spot okay. from where it took off, it will come back and land there. If not, it will land in a safe space and then it will send those last GPS coordinates so you can go and retrieve the drone. So this is not like a lost thing, even when, if you have some kind of a problem. Right. What, when you mean something like safe space, who detects that safe space? The drone itself or? The drone How do you has really advanced GPS systems and it has sensors. So basically it will land at a flatter, flat surface wherever you go. If it does not have enough battery to come back home, it will go and land at a flat surface. 
Okay, that we are talking about the surface. Let's say when the drone has been used for defense forces, yeah. and if it is used for, let's say, uh, take, uh, taking something for, you know, um, let's say, to an enemy zone. So maybe uh, Mr. Gautam, uh, Vengamana Gautam Manager will be able to answer this well. How does this drone identify a safe zone at that time? So ma'am, uh, just coming to back to your question, I would like to answer this myself. Uh, this drone has a particular feature in which if I, the map that I'm using, the GPS map with the WGS-84 combination which I'm using for it to fly, in that map, I take the ground position of the drone and I select the safe zone from the map which is a field or a flat surface map. I pinpoint on that and mark that point and it goes and lands there. That's how it detects us. It detects that same point and goes and lands there. Okay. That's very interesting. So, uh, it's basically, it's not only about the ground surface, or it also identifies the zone, the area. Like The area which we mark on the map, the ground position, it will go and land there. Okay. That should be great. So, I think uh, that really answers the question that I asked Mr. Shabanka. And uh, thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time here. Thanks a lot, ma'am, meeting you again in India. And yeah. Looking forward to meet you in Indonesia. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you much, Shabanka. Thanks. Jai Hind. Jai Hind.